Hi! In this video I'm going to explain different stopping methods with 3D reconstruction. Since so many people ask me in the comment section, I'm covering these. The basic hockey stop, stopping on the outside edge, and the same with ground touching which provided our team's logo. I also mentioned the spread angle stop already in a different video. If you wish, check that out as well. Make sure you practice your spread angles first, especially leaning backwards. So let's get started. The basic hockey stop. I will keep it simple. Your goal is to drift on the ice. The key is the continuous improvement. How? You will start doing it continuously from a simple turn. Now you could practice this one from stationary first, but let's move on from that. Use your outer leg. The other leg is not really needed in the first steps, so you can use it for support. Start turning. When you decide it's time to drift, give it a tiny push. Trust your blade and lean in. Now, don't put too much weight because you will get stuck. You can also get stuck if you rotate around your heel. So when turning your leg, this will be the pivot point. You will rotate around this point. Take a look at these slow motions. It's clearly visible which part is being used for stopping. Of course later, as you gain experience, you will have it your own way. Moving on, stopping on the outside edge. It might look like tricky first, but it actually is the same if you start it from a simple turning. That's why I showed it before, even though the basic stop could be practiced from stationary first. This one only might be a little bit harder than the regular one, because you don't have another leg for support while practicing. So I figured out a simple technique that can help you in this case. If you already know how to stop on the inside edge, so the regular hockey stop, then use both legs. Put your stopping leg right behind the other. In my case, it's my right leg I want to learn stopping with, so I put that behind. And then start turning in the same direction, now right. And notice that this leg will be using the outside edge. As you're getting confident, forget the curve and do it in a straight line. Outside edge plus ground touching. For this, it's better if you can already do it in a straight line. Make sure you have sharp blades, because you're getting low. That's not the same as having a deep radius, but I'm talking about this in another video. There is one key message that is generally important in freestyle as well. Try pushing your limits. Let's see how much tilt you can tolerate or how fast can you go. You will get to know your limits and this way become a better skater. And also try practicing everything in both directions. I also mentioned the spread angle and stopping that position in another video, which I'm going to link now. If you have questions or ideas what I should do next, let me know. More tutorials are coming, subscribe. Thank you.